All right. So on this problem, it said on the homework to write it as an augmented matrix and then solve it, right? So we talked about this a little bit in class last time. We could change this pretty quickly into a matrix, augmented matrix, really, whatever. They have a line right there. So we have the X column. We got a negative 3 in the X column for that first. It's the coefficient of X. The coefficient of Y and then the answer. In the bottom equation, we have the coefficient of X, coefficient of Y, and the answer. Look, if you hate matrices, just write the augmented matrix and then do whatever method you want. So remember, the idea of the matrix is to get a 1, 0, 0, 1, and then we'll have our answers right here. That's, that's our goal in all this, all right? So... Uh, just looking at this, I can see pretty quickly, just looking at the X column right here, okay, I can see that one of those is a multiple of the other because I want them to be the same so I can eliminate them. So going into this, I can take row 1, and if I multiply it by 2, I will have the same coefficient in that first row for the X's specifically. So when I do that, again, it doesn't change the second row yet. But again, some, at some point, you guys are going to be combining a lot of these steps into the same step. So you'll even have less matrices. So 2 times this negative 3 would give me negative 6. That's what we wanted. 2 times 4 is 8. That just happens to be the case that it matches the Y's as well. If you were focusing on the y's, it would have worked with the x's. 2 times the 3 is 6. All right, now let's take, well, let's, let's get the 0 right here where that negative 6 is. That's pretty easy. If I take, let me find a good color. If I take row 1 and multiply it by negative 1, that's going to change that negative 6 to a positive 6. And if I add it to row 2, it's going to, add to that negative 6, making that 0. That's what we want. So I would get a 0 there. Negative 1 times 8 plus 8 would also be 0. Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6, plus negative 5 is negative 11. So it didn't affect that first row, not that it has to. But it's that's, all, that's as far as we have to go on this one, because we have 0x, plus 0y equals negative 11, which is really the same as saying that 0 is equal to negative 11. That's, that's false right there. Since it's false, it has no solutions. 